lift off and it's what yep, i think i think the um oh, oh oh god not good i broke the game this is regular human workshop and i have created a device that should work i don't know though because i haven't tried it yet but i'm gonna go into detail how this works later on but first why don't we familiarize ourselves with the game? So to start things off, you can choose between a small, huge planet or odyssey. So basically the opposite of a planet. It's like, you know, the circles are like, it's, it's whatever, I'll show you later on. But we're gonna start off with the small space and then we're gonna go to the planet and whatnot. So here we have the small space. Look, a small little cube. And here is a small little man with cockies. At least that's what it says. And then we've got a bunch of weapons here. This is quite similar to people playground but it's a little bit different because there's uh, i'll show you later on okay it's pretty cool there's a bunch of stuff we can choose from here there's um we can build stuff automate stuff and i've also as you can tell here i've, I've downloaded some workshop levels we're, we're gonna check out those but first things first hammer there you go D this, can i just smack him in the face sure can how do i know if he's dead or not is there like a way to check his vitals uh buddy are, are you okay let's just move his foot down like this is there a way i could like revive him oh he woke up he's back from his concussion it's time to celebrate yay confetti so not only do we have a bunch of blunt weapons we do also got like pistols like this we can shoot them nice in the face and then we can also shoot a nc pistol that launches launches a high uh, it launches a large orb of energy now surely that can't be too bad right oh boy that's kind of a lot so i've decided to test it over here to the left we've got the gun that shoots energy rounds and then we've got a bunch of prisoners with their back face because these are in death row and they need to be eliminated anyway let's see how far this goes oh wait didn't do any damage well it kind of well it kind of uh, it kind of ripped your arm off didn't it you've only got one arm Where, where's the second arm where's where did our oh I found it. I found his arm. There you go. All right. Can we just attach this back somehow? Is there a way we could just like put it there? No? Okay. So this is pretty cool. You can just shoot them like this. And it'll lag a lot, but they're going to fly. That's really nice. I like that weapon. A man with green shorts is about to face off against some dynamite. Right? It's just a tiny little stick of dynamite. Can't be too bad, right? Oh, boy. Close your eyes. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay uh oh he's burning i think he's burning code red or orange whatever we don't have a fire extinguisher this is this is not this is not up to standards this is fire extinguisher i found it i found it can i just do this there we go oh just just put the fire out you'll, you'll be good in no time there you go just put some band-aid on that we're all good <clears throat> Toasty, 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 toasty. But as you can see, there's a whole lot of different like automation things we can put in here. And these will all make the game interesting. Speaking of interesting, let's say hello to the first ever thing that I downloaded from the workshop. This is a human cutter. I don't know how it works, but I'm assuming, I know how it works now. You press this and it just does that, does that. That's pretty nice. Is it like a way to automate it? A few moments later. I knew it was possible. I totally didn't spend the last what like like 20 minutes figuring this out but basically here's how it looks whenever the sword turns all the way to the right it sends a signal to a timer that then and now the only thing we need is some test subjects oh i think we've got it we've got the man with green shorts standing on a wooden beam and he's about to get dead here we go how do i how do i delete this there you go oh come on fall down there you go Ooh, all feet getting chopped off this is great are they even gonna like fall down if not i'm just gonna have to like put you know put some weight on top so that they actually fall down but this seems to work like a charm look at that they're ball oh god they're being chopped up into a million pieces thankfully these are only ragdolls so no damage is actually being done to real humans so we're all we're all good on that end but there you go it's all just falling in chopping it up my automatic thing works like a charm now if anything screams sketchy this sure as hell does it this according to the creator is a working rocket let me be the judge of that here we go ah! that crap i mean it did kind of work didn't it look at that it's actually what oh it's torching him alive so the, i mean the, the rocket sure worked but it also killed the passenger 
Here's something you never want to hear in the same sentence. Cheap elevator. Um, how does this even... It just works. Wow. I bet I could automate this as well, but I'm not going to do that because it took a whole lot of time last time. So let's just put our trusted test subject onto the elevator and press the button. Oh boy. Yeah, okay. You know, the, the cheap elevator, that's what you get. You know, it's an elevator that literally makes your arm fall off. I mean, it kind of kind of elevates a little bit. Maybe I placed it the wrong way though. Maybe it's all my fault. Don't worry, man, with green shorts. You're in good hands. You see, there we go. Now that I placed the creation the correct way, nothing could go wrong. And when I say nothing could go wrong, I mean except when there's kitchen knives waiting for you at the top. So have a pleasant journey. Is he alive or is he dead? Are you alive or are you dead? Just to, just to make sure. Nice. Now we get to a really, really big creation. This is called the Immortal Lab. And I don't know what it does, but it looks hella scary. Over here to the left, we've got a guy that has a warning sign that says shoot on sight. I really don't know if that works, but let's find out. Man with the green shorts, there you go. And you just, you just start walking, okay? You just walk forward. There you go. Let's see if the man with the sniper rifle will shoot on sight, or if you will just ram your scrotum straight into, yeah. Okay, well, that's not th that you don't okay and over here. We've got some guards I don't know what they're guarding, but if what if we press this button will will the door open? How will the door open? Hello, do you need to press it with your face open the door? Open the door doesn't open that can't be good There's a guy hanging from a rope attached to the wall and he has a knife up his bum if this rope fails He's dead. I don't know what I've downloaded it. I'm really scared to ask but there's a button here that I assume when I press it, it's gonna shoot a sword somewhere. So let's just use the gun here and gently press it. There you go. Oh no, no, it's just super, super supercharging it. That is really, really, that's also really lame um, elevator. Okay, can I just use this? Sure can shoot, yeah, that's perfect. Oh boy, this is a really loud gun. I'm not gonna shoot it anymore. This guy seems to be, oh, I can detach him. Oh no, oh, I just realized what I was supposed to do, okay. I could have clicked the button and he would have fallen down on a flaming sword. That would have been great, but I didn't do it. Subscribe. Uh, there's a guy dangling from a rope here for some odd breed. Can I like just make him go down all the way? Is that a thing here? Can I like, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. Didn't mean to do that. And then we have just a bunch of guns here. Uh, emergency only. I'll use this one. Oh God. Everything is burning. And this is, okay. This guy's still alive though. So that's cool. Remember this guy? Well, there's an improved version. And yes, it kind of looks like the male organ, but we're not gonna go into that. This has some really detailed things in it. I'm, I'm assuming it's got like some auto stabilizers and stuff. It's also got some nukes attached to it, which is great, you know, safety first and all, but we need a pilot or astronaut, whatever it is. Man with green shorts is on the job. Now, are you comfortable? I bet you are. Let's just put a little bit of slow motion on so we can see what's happening. Okay, so move your hand and gently press the button. Ah! We have liftoff and it flat. I think, I think the, um, I think my map here might be a little bit too small. Wow. This is cool. Ninth planet from the sun. That's not, that's not correct though, is it? I don't know if this is the moon or not, whatever. Speed limit 40, slow down or you're going to fly, got it. Neil, you are wrong. I don't know, don't know what that means, but this is a planet. What is this? Jerry was here. <laughs> okay, cool. Good for you, Jerry. So this makes me think that this planet has gravity all around it. Man with cockies. Oh, look at that. Oh, man with cockies on the left side. Oh, it has, which means if we take the hover bike and we activate it, he's gonna fly around the, oh, he's going, oh, we went in space. And there he goes, really far away from everything. Goodbye. Yeah. So don't shoot a hover bike really quickly across the surface of whatever this is, but rather do it gently. So we're gonna activate it like this without the rocket. And it's gonna just gently rotate around the hole. Oh, it stopped because it had a stop function. Son of a, get off into outer space. There we go. Okay, you're you're free to uh, maneuver about, young man. Unless there's a body, it's fine. It's okay. Man, this is really amazing, this. Oh, I just saw a corpse fly by. So a hover bike, on this planet works like a charm. Oh, 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 oh 
Oh god. Oh no, I spawned it. Oh no. Not good! I broke the games! Now let's try that again, and this time, there. Perfect. Okay. No, 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 no. Careful, careful. Don't start to burn. Okay, careful, careful, careful. All right, I know you're on the moon, which is technically not where you want it to be. Also, you've got some missiles inside of you, which is most likely going to explode once this fire thing is getting out of hand. But surely you've got some fire extinguishers, right? You know, it's probably nothing too big. Okay, cool. So let's see if this thing can drive then. How do we, how do we make this drive? Oh, okay. Well... It kind of explode, didn't it? So this whole moon thing is kind of cool. If you want to see me play this some more, leave a like on the video. Remember what I said about the thing not going into the large level? Well, I lied. That little pixel in the bottom left? That's the man in khakis. We're in a really big level. And a really big level requires a really big experiment. Now, before we try this, I really just want to see this rocket fly all the way to the top of the level. Just because why not? Can I press this button myself? Oh no, there we go. That rocket is flying up, and there we go, it exploded. This level is so huge, I can't even... It's up there! It's still okay! I need to turn these ones off. Uh, no, turn off, turn off, turn off! Fight, make, it's making a rocket! Destroy! Let's talk about the thing I've made, and let's see if it works. So, when this pad is stepped on, it's gonna send a signal to the pistol to shoot the guy that steps on it in the face. Now, when the face has been shot, when fired, it sends a signal to um, a timer up here that uh, will turn on a timer of five seconds. When this timer is off, it's gonna push this hydraulic press because it says so, move ram up. And when it's moved, it's gonna cut this rope. And once that rope is cut, well, there's gonna be a slight little, slight little boom. Also, just to make sure that it actually worked, we've got a sensor here that tells, you know, when impact detected, it's gonna turn the light on because we won't notice it unless we have a light. So let's see if my creation worked then. Walk forwards, there we go. All right, and let's turn on the slow motion. Yep, and nothing else worked. All right, I've moved some things around. It should work now. Here we go, let's uh, move forward. How do I make him move again? Walk forward, here we go. Boom. It did it, it did it turn did it turn it on? It did oh, I did! Look at that! The timer is going up! And once the timer reached the end, it's gonna push it forwards. And it did not. Well, let's just pretend that worked for a bit. And it cuts that thing and boom! My experiment is a success. Kind of. 